Let me start with an apology. You will realize that uh, my presentation is not really fitting with uh, the, the theme of the session. Um, I don't have an answer. I don't know why it's not really fitting. But I know that it's extremely important and relevant for what's happening this year in June. Um, you might know that um, the conference of Rio, Rio Plus 20, is coming. And um, the Arab region has somehow to uh, start preparing for uh, an important event that will be um, dealing with sustainable development. Why is important sustainable development in relation to um, food security? Um, there is uh, um, a twofold uh, linkage between uh, sustainable development and sustainable environment and food security. Uh, from the one side, uh, we cannot have food security if, the, if we don't have um, sustainability in, uh, if we don't have social, social sustainability, if we don't have environmental sustainability and economic uh, sustainability. Um, vice versa, the moment we, uh, we, we, we can get food security is uh, also difficult to, um, to achieve a, a sustainable, uh, a social sustainability and an economic sustainability. Most of these uh, uh, definitions, uh, you, 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 you must be familiar with, with them. It's just important to flag out the um, relation between sustainable land management that uh, has to lead to sustainable agriculture and sustainable agriculture that has to lead to food security. For preparation to Rio Plus 20 conference, the different parties have uh, um, developed a zero draft document that will be discussed in the coming uh, months uh, by the uh, different governments and uh, uh, brought to the Rio conference. And uh, um, uh, this uh, linkage between sustainable land management, agriculture, and food security is well defined into the zero draft. You are already familiar with uh, some of these slides that I will be skipping because I'd like to focus on, on the process of Rio. Um, it's important to uh, underline that food security for the Arab region brings together some challenges from the policy and political level, uh, technical level, at the social level. And also from the economic point of view, uh, technology point of view, and governance. We already discussed this, uh, most of these issues during the previous um, session, so just to uh, note it down if uh, uh, interested. Uh, what is really important to understand is that for um, the conference of Rio Plus 20, um, the, 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 there have been a series of international commitments that uh, started 20 years ago with the first conference of Rio and the Agenda 21, that was the action plan for the implementation of the United Nations Conference on uh, um, Environment and Development. And then we had other milestones that were very important because they were setting the stage for the development of food security into, into the international uh, commitments. We had the Rome Declaration on World Food Security in 96. Then we, have, we had the Conference on Sustainable Development number eight. Uh, after 10 years from Rio, we had the um, uh, Johannesburg, Johannesburg Plan of Implementation. Then the establishment of the MDGs. And 2009, that somehow represented a a, a very important year of passage between uh, uh, an old way of dealing with food security and a new one. Why? Um, these are the, um, the, the, the main commitments uh, stated in uh, the Rome Declaration on World Food Security. Of course, we have from um, the, the enabling, enabling political, social, and economic environment to uh, participatory and sustainable food, agriculture, and fisheries, and uh, optical, optimal allocation and use of public and private investment. Um, as I was saying, 2009 was a kind of uh, important year, because until then, 
um, the, the, the global delivery of food security and sustainable agriculture was, had been somehow disappointing. In, the, in 2009, with the Conference on Sustainable Development, um, we can affirm that uh, there was a kind of new vision um, that tried to brought into the food security debate uh, and commitments a new focus, focus on social issues. And um, amongst the, um, uh, the, 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 the requests done by the parties of the Conference of Sustainable Development, there was the, the one on trying to reduce the, the gender gap in access to agricultural inputs um, that would increase the women's yield by 20, 30 percent. So 2009 was an important year, not only because there was a new uh, focus on uh, social issues, but also because in 2009 we had the L'Aquila Food Security Initiative of the G8 with an important financial commitment, and the Rome World Summit on Food Security with the five Rome principles, uh, the reform of the Committee on Food Security, and uh, the Global Strategic Framework for Food Security and Nutrition. Rio Plus 20 Conference is the new challenge, and uh, what we have to, um, uh, what we will try to do at Rio is uh, discuss two main themes, that is the institutional framework for, development, uh, for sustainable development and green economy. Uh, what is important to analyze here together is what can we, uh, what will be able, what, we, what this, the, the, the government we will be able to discuss at Rio in uh, um, relation to food security. Um, for sure, all, all the, the new themes and new issues that uh, the Arab region will have to face and that will be addressed in, at Rio Plus 20 conference, from climate change to water security, interrelates with food security. And that's why the, also the Zero Draft affirms that climate change has an impact on food security. Other important point that have already been discussed in the, the Zero Draft and will be um, uh, checked out in the, in, in, in the coming months are the right to food, um, the stability of food prices, um, an increase of appropriate, uh, appropriate technologies for sustainable agriculture. So as we, as we were saying, at Rio government we will, ha will have to um, try to uh, respond to some of the challenges of, uh, um, of food security in the Arab region. Um, some of the general policies that might be discussed, but this has to be checked upon the, um, the, 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 the final document that will be created after the zero draft, is uh, um, a policies option in reducing waste, in the production of food, um, addressing the inequitable distribution of natural resources, the diversification of rural incomes, um, an action on, produc on production and consumptions, action on, on small sustainable farmers, addressing the food water nexus, promoting the urban agriculture, and so far and so forth. Um, food security in uh, Rio will be probably discussed also from the financial, fiscal, and uh, regulatory point of view. And these are, the, these are the options that have been discussed and that might um, find place in the zero draft. Oh. As you can see, there is um, still a focus on subsidies and then on uh, um, <coughs> financing leap, uh, leapfrogging technologies and refitting programs. And of course, as Sustain, um, institutional framework for sustainable development is one of the two main themes of Rio. Um, the member countries will have to discuss uh, different institutional options that might have an impact on food security, uh, among which the Sustainable Development Council or uh, Food Security Council that might um, find place. Um, I think, in my opinion, the, the most important uh, issue that might get to be discussed in, uh, in Rio 
this is part of the zero draft, but of course agreement of member states might um, be different, is the sustainable development goals. Um, almost more than 10 years have uh, passed since the Millennium Development Goals. It's time to go beyond. And uh, the option now is trying to um, uh, define sustainable development goals as paragraph 107 of the draft uh, states. Um, amongst the different sustainable development goals that have an impact on food security, the proposal have been zero net land degradation, 20% increase in total food supply chain efficiency, 20% increase in water efficiency in agriculture, 70% of irrigated land using technology that increases crop per drop. These are the general ones. Um, as for the specific ones, the, um, uh, some of the parties that will be having um, um, a, an important role in Rio, like the farmers' major, gr major groups, propose an increase um, of the proportion of ODA focus on agriculture and rural development to 20%, an increase of yields on uh, women's farm for by um, from uh, 2.5 to 4 percent, and uh, other civil society organizations um, propose as sustainable development goals, but without baseline, um, of course, global agriculture production is transformed from industrial to sustainable by 2030, and best management practices and um, to reduce erosion by 90 percent and hydrogen runoff by 50 percent or more. I think the important thing today is trying to see if there is, uh, even from you, an, an, an agreement or advice or suggestions on, on these uh, um, sustainable development goals and uh, um, uh, indicators to see if uh, uh, um, ESQA and the UN Secretariat might uh, somehow influence the process in, uh, for the zero draft. Um, when, when we talk about the Rio Plus 20, the, as the, the two teams, the institutional um, framework for sustainable development, um, and the other theme is the green economy. Uh, green economy is, is, is a concept that has been debated uh, along during the last year, especially in the Arab region, because um, there is a definition proposed by UNEP that has not been agreed. Uh, there is not 100% um, agreement in the Arab region, um, but it's important because green economy uh, might be a policy, an economic policy option for addressing food security, and this would be definitely discussed in Rio. Why? Because among the example of G uh, green economy, we have agricultural and land management, and also because uh, green economy addresses the three sectors of sustainable development, economic, social, and environmental, uh, that have an impact on sustainable land management and food security. And uh, also because green economy fits within the water, energy, and food security nexus. And uh, uh, there is a definitely a, a need for environmental preservation, preservation, and green economy is working through some of its components to get to um, to this preservation, and uh, the zero draft confirms this uh, um, commitment. Uh, just to recap, so Rio Plus 20 conference comes 20 years after the conference of Rio, um, 10 years after Johannesburg, and uh, is trying to uh, address the. Um, the, the management and the regulation of natural assets and ecosystems, and this is the major factor behind uh, food security. Um, the Rio Plus 20 com conference will try to deliver a new framework to address these interlinkages, and uh, uh, the parties hopes that uh, there will be integrated discussions between these emerging issues, issues where the or the security, food, and energy uh, that might address the three pillars of sustainable development. The, um, 
the, 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 just the request from, uh, um, from the, secret the Secretariat and ESQA is uh, uh, let's try whenever you, if you feel like, to um, comment on the, on, on the zero draft and uh, on the suggestion for, for, what con the, for what concerns food security at Rio Plus 20 conference. Because um, member countries are not very um, um, uh, sure of, of, of what this might represent. And uh, through the um, interrelation and uh, partnership amongst all the parties, they, they, the, the zero draft document might really become something important to be discussed with the um, appropriate means. Thank you so much.